good day um, you are going to have a mart tv uh, youtube channel discussion a lot of people are giving wrong information misleading information and a lot of people who don't know anything about covid virus virus is talking a lot of in giving a lot of information to the general public so we three thought okay let's talk about something that we know to the general public in sri lanka and the rest of the world my left hand side i i have dr professor sarath gunatilega uh, professor of um, health science from cal state university of long beach right next to me on the left hand side i have professor of infectious disease and immunology from california university of health science and uh, medicine and um, so our discussion going to be mostly uh, second wave and implication of going back to work return to work so i like to get first information from dr professor uh, dammi katapattu he is going to talk about some um, brief and also very important information about virus yeah so um, viruses viruses are considered the smallest infectious particles uh, for human diseases so viruses are much smaller than bacteria uh, what is very special about viruses as you may know is that uh, uh, they need a living cell a living being for their growth uh, and therefore viruses can be easily killed outside the uh, outside human tissue so uh, the corona virus is again of of course a virus which is very small and viruses are broadly categorized Uh, depending on uh, the uh, nucleic acids it contain inside the virus now this is important for everybody to know uh, that because uh, there are two categories the, what what are called the dna viruses and rna viruses and the corona virus is a rna virus why is this im- important because uh, rna viruses tend to mutate change the nature of the virus much more than dna viruses so therefore the corona virus the influenza virus measles virus which are all rna viruses has the tendency to mutate and uh, create p- perhaps a new virus which cause which can cause a new wave of infection uh, as opposed to dna viruses so now Uh, talking about viruses uh, uh if you compare the two major viruses which are important for human infections human disease of the respiratory tract which is the influenza virus and the corona virus the covid-19 virus uh the influenza virus has the tendency to mutate and change rapidly much more than the corona virus as discovered by scientists in the past 2 3 months and now is this a good thing i think it's a good thing because it has implications for developing vaccines it has implications for identifying how it causes disease uh, in humans and of course treating the virus uh, using different dr- drugs what do you think about this virus what is th- why is that different from compared from other viruses so this is a virus which we believe that was transmitted uh, to humans from perhaps animals in wet markets in china uh, uh, the genetic studies show that it was uh, transmitted the virus was transmitted to one single person a elderly person in china Uh, uh and then this person had been transmitting to others in china and perhaps to the rest of the world through uh, uh through travel uh all viruses are transmitted fr- from uh humans to humans some viruses are transmitted from animals to humans uh example perhaps this particular corona virus uh so the viruses tend to uh break the species barrier uh, uh that causes severe infection in humans 
and this is particularly important because we humans don't have immunity to those particular viruses which are carried in animals. Uh, so when you don't have immunity, uh, you get an infection and you get a severe infection which is transmitted to others very easily. So uh, in addition, they have identified that there are certain features of this particular virus which can uh, cause severe infection and as the virus tend to multiply inside the cells of uh, the human respiratory tract, uh, they tend to mutate. There are some mutations are small mutations, some mutations are large mutations. Small mutations does not seem to really affect too much, but large mutation which they have discovered in the past month or so in a certain part of the virus which is called the spike protein. They have discovered large mutation, uh, 14 large mutations in the spike protein which can cause dramatic infection and change in infection pattern uh, uh, of uh, this particular disease. So we have to be very careful, we have to study uh, the, these mutations which might be, uh, help us to predict how the virus is transmitted uh, from one human to the other and more so in developing vaccines. Very good. Professor Gunatilaga, I want to ask you one very important question, first question. What do you think about Sri Lanka? They contain this is very well, very limited number of cases and also unbelievably low death level. What is your opinion about that? What do you think about that? Yes. Sri Lanka has done a great job in controlling the, the pandemic in Sri Lanka, what they what we call flattening of the epidemi epidemiological curve. That means uh, in most even in resource rich countries like Italy and Spain, they, they um, have been uh, they have not been able to control the disease and it uh, it has really overwhelmed or overtaken the capacity of the uh, health systems to deal with the virus. But in Sri Lanka, we have been able to contain the virus for example and, and the, the government, the, the health services the with the uh, collaboration of the health services, the armed forces, the army, navy, the police and everyone else uh, with the, of course the direction of the government, Sri Lanka has been able to control the viruses to a significant, the, uh, the pandemic to a significant extent. For example, the first case of coronavirus was discovered from an imported case that means somebody who came from China, lady who came from China was discovered on January 27th. So from that time onwards, we only have 1884 cases and 11 deaths. This is a very significant achievement in comparison to most other countries. I have a very important question to ask Professor Gunati Lega. Sri Lanka, where we are coming from, we have unbelievably low number of cases reported, as well as unbelievably low number of deaths. We are very happy, very glad. Can you explain the reason why we have so many low numbers of deaths as well as cases? One of the main reasons why we have had such a low death rate in Sri Lanka is because the coronavirus affected a relatively younger population in Sri Lanka than most other country, most other uh, countries in the developed world. You know that if you consider, uh, for example, United States or UK or some other uh, Italy and some other developed countries, most of the deaths were in the uh, age group uh, 65 plus and mostly in nursing homes and places where, pe uh, where older people were congregating in 
smaller spaces and they also had a lot of underlying uh, medical conditions like diabetes and hypertension. But in Sri Lanka, just to give you an example, about 40 percent of the cases came from the from the Valisara camp where the, it affected most of the soldiers and they were relatively healthy younger people between ages 40 and 6 uh, uh, actually 30 and 60. So, in that population the death rate is extremely low and also the Sri Lanka was able to manage these cases pretty well in the sense they, they immediately converted 24 district hospitals into what they call COVID centers where they could uh, accept the patients and treat them very successfully. This is my evaluation about why we have so many cases in this country. A lot of people in this country, my patient as well, they are very old in 80 plus, 90, 80, 90, 100. And not like in Sri Lanka, any other country, United States, seniors are very active. They travel a lot, they go on cruises, they go on trips, they play badminton, they play tennis, they play hockey or whatever. They are very, very active group of people and seniors. They are like, once when they retire, they don't stay home. In Sri Lanka, when they retire, they will stay home, school teacher retire or bank officer retire, they will be taking care of your children, grandchildren, combined to their homes, staying home. But here people, when they retire, they act as adults again. So, once when they had the cases in, in China, almost all of them traveling from New York, they are major airports in New York, LaGuardia and Newport, Kennedy Airport, large number of patients, people came from China to America and we got like bombarded. So, it was bombarded, the trains, subway trains and traveling, taxis and everything. They could not handle that much of patient population. It went like a tsunami, wildfire. And from the beginning in this country, we had a make the biggest mistake. So many voices, so many people came to the picture giving advices about how to handle this one, how to, what is coronavirus. People who don't know anything about medicine, business people, media people and unnecessary people that were in the industry, movie industry, they gave, they gave their opinion and then people were misled. That's the reason why we have so many cases in this country. <laughs>